hello to the people. What's up, Mr. Mrs. and Miss? How y'all doing? I'm Draymond Green tonight, man. I thought I was going to be cutting the shrimp, but you say she's... No, I got everything. My my baby been working all day, y'all. He been working all day. She say she got it, man. I ain't in that. They can't never hear you, bud, because you always talk low. She say she got it, so I ain't even tripping, man. You know what I so mean? we doing shrimp ceviche, y'all. This is our second time making it homemade. And we got shrimp first off. This is cooked shrimp. Cooked shrimp. This is medium-sized shrimp. Okay? She gonna chop those up. You know what I mean? Let me take this out. She got the garlic salt. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, let y'all know what all I'm using. Babe, go over there and give me the uh, measuring cup. Uh, that's all I need. And the measuring uh, cups out the drawer, too. The red ones. And and the um, you know the whole measuring cup. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to be putting everything, the whole ceviche, in this container. It has a top to it. So Mister is taking some ceviche to his job tomorrow. He's he's doing it for his crew, his guys. So they all it's like four of them. So they're gonna we got some little container cups. Um, some little Tupperwares with the tops. So they're going to be, um, thank you, bud. They're going to be wearing uniforms, eating man, ceviche money. tomorrow. Shrimp ceviche. Plus okay. wearing a uniform to get money tomorrow. You yep, that's tomorrow. right. We all got the same. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to start with the ingredients. Thank you, baby. Now we have... You're welcome. Two cucumbers that we're going to chop up. What you want me to do with your thing? Up there in my uh, hamper, babe. Put it in my hamper. Give me one second, you guys. What do you want to hold, bro? No, I'm just going over here. Okay. Make sure I got six. All right. So I had to get my potato pillar for the cucumbers because I'm going to be Filling it with that. Now, so you need, for the ceviche, you need two cucumbers. Um, you need red onion. And I might not use this whole thing. I'm not sure yet, but I'll see. And then you need cilantro that is thoroughly washed cilantro. And then I have three tomatoes three tomatoes you also need lemon and I have four limes because I like you know more lime taste in mine so that's three and then there's another one so four limes and then you also need now these are all the things I have to chop up I'm showing you right now you need a chili habanero pepper, one chili habanero pepper, and only one chili serrano pepper, but I have two. We bought two, so we're going to use both of these because we're not going to use that for anything else in the house, okay? And give me one second. I forgot to get one ingredient. already over here oh yeah it's already over here okay so then okay so those are all the things I have to chop up then I also have the jugo maggi sauce I have this that I cook with a lot you guys know this is a browning sauce so we have this and then we also have garlic garlic salt that we're going to be seasoning with and we also have ketchup but we're going to be using some, uh, probably half of what's left of this. And then also Clamato juice, okay? And then the fellas and me and my husband, <laughs> we're going to be eating the ceviche, shrimp ceviche with these tostadas, okay? So we got a fresh bag of tostadas, all right? So... I'm going to start off with, and these are peeled shrimp, cooked shrimp, 
So I'm going to start out with chopping these up. I'm going to chop them up and put them in the tub because I don't want them to be whole. So I'm going to do that. And some people, you know, when they make ceviche, I don't like this little brown piece on this shrimp. They, um, some people use, um, you know, the raw shrimp. And what they do is, um, what you call it, they, you know, cook their raw shrimp with the uh, lemon and lime. But I'm not doing that today, you guys. It's all, these are already cooked, so I don't have to worry about cooking these, okay? But you can do it that way, but I just, I don't, I don't like to do it that way. I really don't. So I'm going to be putting these shrimp in the tub. And I'm going to grab some more shrimp and just, you know, chop them a little bit so they won't be so big in the ceviche. I want them to be more smaller in the ceviche. So that's what I'm doing right now. Hope you guys are all having a great day. I'm waiting on those basket makers to send me some videos if they want to join the uh, basket making challenge. So I'll see if they send that. I have one contestant already, so I'm waiting on her to send hers. And then, um, you know, I'm gonna be in touch. I'm gonna be getting in touch with a few more too. So I'll probably end up extending the deadline because I want more people to do it. You know, I got people here in the city. We're in San Francisco for those of you that are new. And thank you for joining us, for watching our video. Uh, we're, we're from San Francisco. So we're here in San Francisco. And, um, you know, so we have, you know, we know a few basket makers out here. We know a few people that, you know, they do uh, different crafts. They make candles. They make different things. So I'm going to be getting in touch with them. And I want them to do a video. And time, you know, because it's a two-minute challenge. So I want them to do the video. And time, you know, of course, be timed for two minutes and do the video. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to be getting in touch with them tonight. So I'm going to, and I'm going to let the basket makers know in a, a short video that I'm extending the deadline to probably next Friday. Next Friday, I'll extend it. Okay? I'm not sure if you guys can see. Now. Yeah, I'm extending the deadline for those basket, that basket making challenge. These shrimp are going to be larger than the first time when we made this. Because we used, um, the first time we just used some baby shrimp. So this time they're going to be much larger inside of there. Which is a good thing. Just want to make sure your hands are thoroughly washed and everything. I rinsed these shrimp off. Everything is thoroughly washed. I don't like that one. If it's something that I don't like, y'all, I've been like that since a little girl. If, if food don't look right, I ain't, I ain't eating it and I'm not cooking it. <laughs> That's just how I've been for a long time now. Okay. 
that up in there. Let me chop these up a little finer. Okay. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Okay, just got some more shrimp to cut up. going to be washing my knife periodically every time I you know like after I chop these up I'm gonna be I'm gonna wash it even though these are thoroughly washed and everything I just like for things to be fresh in between in between you know to chop the next thing up it's just how I cook Okay, these are ready. Chop this one up more. Okay. Okay, just a few more shrimp and then we're gonna get on to the cucumber. We will get on to the cucumber. And I'm going to wash this cutting board, too. Okay, now this is the last of it. Guys, let me know down below if you ever made ceviche shrimp ceviche or some people make fish ceviche I want to make lump, lump crab next next time I'm getting some lump crab and I'm gonna make some crab ceviche that's the next one and it's gonna be real soon like maybe a few weeks from now I'll, I want to make that one his co-workers can, the crew can have some of that too. They're all of Latin descent. So when we made it the first time, they said, no. Mr. said they, they told him, you didn't make this. He said, man, I did. I made it. I made it, my, me and my wife, we made it together. Because the first one we made together. But I told him that I would make this since he'd been working all day today. But he said, um, yeah, we made it. They said, oh my goodness, this is delicious. <laughs> so they liked it, y'all. We passed with that one. They said, yeah, you passed. Okay, now, got this all chopped up, that's the shrimp, now, I'll be right back, I'm gonna, uh, you know, clean all of the utensils and everything, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So now, got everything all washed up. Now I'm going to um, add the Maggie sauce to the shrimp. I'm going to add this Maggie sauce. Dougal Maggie. Okay, so you just need a little bit up in here. 
not too much. So I like that, okay? That's how much. Then, you know, certain things I don't even measure. I, I really don't measure things, you guys. So then I'm gonna also um, slice the cucumbers. I'm gonna slice them with this potato pillar. Okay, so that's one. And the second one. Okay, so both of them are chopped, I mean sliced. Now I'm just going to chop them up and put them in with the shrimp. So I'm just chopping up the ends. We do not need those. Okay. And then I want to cut them in like six parts. Maybe even eight. Let me see. Yeah, about eight different parts. Because I want the I want everything to be fine. You know, I don't want it to be too large. Okay. closer so you can see what I got going on. Okay. All right. Now that's the first cucumber. So I'm going to add these in there. Okay. Now the second cucumber, and this is just going to be so refreshing, you guys. I love ceviche because it tastes uh, so refreshing. And this one one more time. Okay, so then this is the second one. gonna add your second cucumber into the tub with the shrimp and the cucumbers okay now we're gonna move on to the red onion and like I said, I don't think I want to use, use all of that. I'm just going to peel off some. Okay, so let me see. 
that much. And then this part right here. And let me cut this part off on the end. Okay, so that part and that part, that's all the onion that I want. Okay, and then you just, you cut it the long way and then you chop it this way. chop it more than this too because I want this onion to be real fine up in there okay, then I'm gonna chop these again okay then I'm gonna just go over it like this go back and forth like this. Okay, that's good enough, you guys. Maybe a little more. So I see some large chunks. good. This will go into the tub. Can I, I have some tongs with that. I'll just, you know, mix it around with the tongs. Okay, so now, in this one, we're just going to save this onion. Okay, so now we're going to do the tomatoes. We're going to do the tomatoes, three tomatoes. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to drain out the middle part because I don't want that juice in there. I do not want any of the juice in there. And this part right here, I'm going to cut that part off at the top. Cut that part off. I got that bowl for my scraps. Okay, and then all of this inside of here, I'm going to get rid of all that with the juice. Because I don't want any of that. Don't want any of it. I'm going to get rid of that. And that's all I'm going to keep. Get all, get rid of all the center part, and that's all you need to keep. Okay. So with this one too, get rid of the inter inter part. 
inner part. Guys, it's so beautiful outside. It's a nice day out here in San Francisco. I can't say that it's a beautiful day. That one is done. And I'm just going to um, do these other tomatoes just like this too. Might as well just follow the whole step. So those are done. Now I'm gonna do this one. And get rid of that top part. Don't need that. And then you're going to do the same way. Get rid of the inter part. Oop. So now you guys know how to make ceviche all these ingredients you can use all of these ingredients okay one more tomato and then we could chop these up and put them inside Cause it's gonna be enough juice, you guys, with the um, clamato and ketchup. So it'll be more than enough juice and with the lime and lemon. So you'll have enough juice. Okay. Just a few more pieces. All right. So all of the juice is out of these. Now what you wanna do is just slice them the long way. And then you're gonna slice them again to be smaller pieces. Okay, and again with the rest. Long way. And then turn them the other way and slice them smaller. Okay, so those can go in there. Oh, let me get this one. Okay, these can go in there. Right, now just keep going with all of your tomatoes the same way.
just keep going almost done with the tomatoes then I'm going to start on the uh, cilantro Then you just turn them the other way. Okay. All right, then you can put that inside there. turn you so you can see the container too. So you'll see it anyway. You'll see it. You'll see the whole ceviche. And we're going to let you know how it came out too. put that inside there and I got one more piece right here you guys that's just one more piece of tomato start we're going to move on to the cilantro all right so I had it draining in here so I just want to start out with a little bit I got plenty of cilantro and you want to chop up the stems too I'm going to chop up these stems and you want to chop this up real fine, real fine, okay? Stems and all. I'm going to go over it again. I'll leave the ingredients if you guys want to make this I'll leave the ingredients down below so you can make it too okay okay let's go on to the rest of the cilantro same way chop everything up nice and fine so 
Cilantro smells so good, you guys. I love the way it smells. I made us some chicken and um, some barbecue chicken and cilantro rice. I put some cilantro in that rice and seasoned it. So that's what we're having for dinner with this ceviche. Chicken and rice on the side. what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Man, I know how to man, I know what I'm doing. He telling me to chop everything up small, y'all. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. This is the second time we made it. I know how to make it now. Oh, I got it down pat now. Okay. Yeah, they gonna have it again tomorrow. Okay, let me go rinse my hands, you guys. Give me one second. A spoon. I'm not gonna use tongs. I'm, I got a spoon to, um, you know, mix everything up with. Oh, I don't need those. No way. I ain't gonna even touch them because they on the floor, and I'm gonna have to wash my hands again. <laughs> okay. So next is the peppers. Now you want to wear gloves if you are sensitive to peppers. You want to put on some gloves. Me, myself, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to be all right. Okay, so I'm going to cut off the top part and that end part. Then you want to just cut them in half. And I'm leaving those seeds in there, y'all. I'm leaving those seeds in there. So it's going to be spicy. And this one is really spicy. This habanero, that's really spicy. Yes. So then you want to just chop this down real small. And I'm going to cut this in half again. That's going to be the second batch. This is my first. everything is chopped up fine like that and then you want to bring it on over to the tub with the rest of the stuff all right now on to the next batch and then we just have a lemon and um, those few limes to chop up after this and that's gonna be it Thank y'all for joining me. Let me know how you like the video down below. Let me know in the comments how you like the video. 
like I said, I'll give you the recipe down below. I'll leave the whole list of um, the ingredients in there. Almost done, you guys. Almost. It's a process, but it's not a long one. And it doesn't require any cooking over the stove, in the oven, or anything like that. So that's a good thing. Especially on a nice day like this, you don't want to cook nothing over the stove. That's why I was so hot before Mr. came and got me when he um, came after work because I was cooking that chicken. I put that in the oven, so I was real hot. And this house holds heat, too. But I could have turned that AC on, I just didn't. We got AC up in here, y'all. Like I said on the live, um, not everybody in San Francisco have, they don't have any AC. Because it don't get, you know, real hot out here anyway, you know. Only at a certain time. Those fellas love my ceviche. Because if not, I'm going to have to pay that job a visit. Like, like what you mean? <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, y'all, these peppers. That's what I get. <laughs> Talking mess. These peppers getting to me. Okay. So I'm done with this. Now I'm gonna add these all over. All over that tub of ceviche. Okay, now, just let one last Two last ingredients, the lemon and lime, and um, garlic salt. Let me put the garlic salt in right now, y'all. So this is garlic salt. Let me move this out the way. Okay, so you're just going to put some of this in here. Not too much. Now that's enough. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Now, I'm going to add these limes. Just the juice and the lemon juice. That's what you add. I'm doing that for those of you that are not familiar with that. You get more juice out of it if you do it like that, okay? Get more juice up out of there. All right. And then this lemon. Okay. So first I'm gonna do the lemon. I'm gonna squeeze all of this stuff up in there. All this juice. All that good juice. Okay. Now the lemon first. Put that in my scraps. The limes, you want to squeeze out all that juice, all that juice. Ooh. 
It's going to have a good flavor, y'all. And of course, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it out with y'all. Okay, one more lime after this. One more. All right. Now, I'm glad I got this towel right here so I could wipe my hands okay so now I am going to add clamato juice now I'm just adding uh, one one third of clamato juice so here it is mm, that's hard to open okay all right, let me pour this in my container. Okay, now that's enough of the Clamato. So this is about enough. And you just want to pour that all around there, which is going to be mixed up anyway. Okay. And then the ketchup. Now I got... Uh, one fourth of a cup. So I'm going to add this ketchup in here. <clears throat> That's a piece of cilantro. I was like, what is that? I'm real particular with my food, y'all, for real. Okay, so then just add this up in there. All right. <clears throat> now, everything is added, so you want to mix it all up. Want to mix it all up. Just like that. And you want to keep on mixing until everything is all blended in, okay? Everything is all blended in. I'm going to turn the bowl. And yes, you guys, I'm left-handed. I am left-handed. Hmm. Oh, it's smelling so good, you guys. It's refreshing. It has that refreshing smell. And it tastes that same way, too. Now, I'm going to try it out and see if it needs anything. Definitely going to do that. Oh. <clears throat> we got our shrimp ceviche, y'all. This is how you make it. I'm going to keep on mixing it 
And like I said, until everything is blended in, you want to make sure everything is blended in. Okay. All right. I think that's about good. Okay, that's a big tub of it. Okay, let me go get a little spoon and I'm going to see what it needs. Give me a second, you guys. I'm just going right here. Okay, let's see. That's how it looks. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's spicy, y'all. Mmm. It's delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, my goodness. It tastes so good. But I'm going to pour a little more clam clamato in there. Just a little bit like that. Mmm. Oh, it's so good, y'all. Oh, and it's spicy, too. It is spicy. Babe. Baby. It's spicy, babe. Oh, it tastes good. I just tried it. Yeah, you want to try it? You want to try it? He said, I'm going to eat a couple tonight. <laughs> yes, you are, baby. You're going to eat some tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I hope they enjoy it. If they get any. Shit, I don't know if this might, this might not even make it to his job, y'all. We might have to make them a new batch. It's a lot. Oh, y'all, I want to thank y'all. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's good. It's really good. I must say so myself. I must say, and he said, I, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I'm not going to keep you. I want you to let me know down below if this is something that you want to make. And, uh, you know, let me know how it turned, how you feel it turned out. Let me know. That's the container. And it's heavy as hell. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Please thumbs up this video. Share with others. And comment down below. And yes, I'm leaving you that recipe down in the description box. I'm going to put the whole recipe. Not the exact um you know, teaspoon, tablespoon, and all that. Because I really don't do that. You know, I really don't do that. But you do it as you like it, you know, your, to your tasting. And let me know how it turned out. All right? So I want to thank you guys once again. And I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy your Sunday. Happy Sunday. A little drink. Okay, y'all. Yeah, she holding so, this one. She going to hold this one. Okay, go ahead. She recording. I got the napkins. Well, I'm about to eat mine, y'all. I just we just want to tell y'all how it tastes, and then we're gonna let y'all go. And that's all we want to do is let y'all know how it tastes. So he gonna he eat his with some drink or whatever he need. Mm. Oh goodness. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's delicious, y'all. It is delicious. It's delicious, y'all. Babe, mine fell over. See? So you need some more tortillas? No, I don't. I'm eating mine. I'm eating mine like this. Mmm. Okay. 
Hey. Mine gonna fall over too because it's wet. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? This is a wet. You feel me? Oh, but... it's good, y'all. Mm. It came out delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Yours didn't uh, break, bro. But you the one told me to put juice over it. Got juice from I ain't know nothing in there. And the habanero. Got the habanero up in the neck. is more spicier than the last time. So see, I put two of those uh, serrano peppers. You better watch what you come around with, man. Mm, mm, mm. Hey. It's so good. Free more. Free more. Oh. Hey. Mm, mm, mm. 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 But what you do with the napkin? Oh, y'all. Hey, I, re- I really want to play booty for y'all right now, but I don't think. No, that's going to be a copyright. Yeah, like, it's going to be a copyright, but. Everything is a copyright. I'm, I'm just going to say some, a few bars for you. Sometimes I don't think y'all done lost me. Same cast we was hanging around, coming around. Mm. Keep playing. Mm, mm, mm. And once I'm getting down, mm. 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 give me that. Some people that didn't cross me. Sometimes I think I done been lying on. <laughs> Some people that I thought I could rely on. And I'm thinking I can just do it. Do me. Mm. Oh, and it's spicy. That's a, that's ah. a booty bar and it's spicy. Oh, and it's spicy. Now. Ooh. That they gonna like it? I hope they like it, y'all. Some people that I thought I could rely on. Hold the plate. Hold the plate. Don't drop the juice, please. Because I'm not cleaning up nothing. If you spill a mess, make a mess. All right, y'all. They didn't tell me that it's not. We gonna let y'all go. Yeah, he gonna go and sing. But we gonna let y'all go. I'm singing a little chill. booty, little booty voice. I'm dog. about to put this video on, and I'm gonna give y'all the um, ingredients in the description box. Man. All right, y'all. Thanks again. Thanks again.